Fury, the man certainly with more power. Now that jab. Jab was so sharp against Nikolai Fiesta. Looked a real weapon, but it hasn't done so so far tonight. Oh, Fury is down! of this big overhand right here it comes now what it says bang came from the back of the hall fury's left hand was down and that's why he was caught he's getting a bit careless it was a cracking punch bang there it goes oh look 16 stone bang hit him fair on the chin ну он сознательно строит из себя такого плохого мальчика в ринге. А вот, вот это да! А вот это то, что я хотел, вот между прочим, увидеть, да. друзья. Вот не скрываю, сейчас я могу сказать это точно. Помните, до начала да трансляции я вам сказал? Бой будет продолжен, посмотрите, вот так вот. Он сам себе наказал, слишком уж... Это висеть? Да. А 20 лишних килограммов, вот это... И в лоб, посмотрите, удар-то был да, в лоб. Да. doing a good job of telling him to be more aggressive because to win is one thing, but to win and try to win impressively as a professional is very important. Rigondeau's knee hit the canvas. Two. That's a knockdown. Three. It's going to be called a knockdown. Four. It was a knock. Here's the replay. Right hand. Perfect shot. And watch the glove touch the canvas. Yeah, the knee didn't get there. The right glove did. Referee was entirely alert. I don't know if he hit a speed bag or what, but you know, he can't hit Rigondeau. He's not trying. Oh, hey, that was a brilliant left hook by Donaire. He finally got himself in the position to land something and landed it very big. Uh, uh, there must be something in the water over there, or at least certainly they've got a lot of brilliant trainers out there. It's that ex-Soviet system. Nobody does amateur boxing like the Soviets. Oh, and Amagasa drops Rigondeau as he stands up tall, exiting from the inside. Wow, it seems to me like Rigondeau, we were just saying it, but it looks like Rigondeau turned himself in the replay, but it looks yeah. to me like Rigondeau turned a bit too much. He doesn't look particularly hurt. But he's shaken by oh, those he... punches, absolutely hurt by those two. And another one, and Rigondeau, it looked like he was thrown to the ground there, but this may in fact help him having gone down because I think he might need some time to recover. He's protesting, but I really think he may benefit from this from this additional count because he was hurt by three or four clean punches in that exchange. Definitely, they look like kind of scuffing arm punches. I'm not sure whether the, fir the first knockdown looked clean, but it didn't appear to have hurt him. Maybe it did, or maybe the arm punches or the short punches that Amagasa hit him with. Letterman, how do you have it through? <laughs> okay, Jim. Three to nothing. 30 to 27. Right there, well, he's in trouble now. Marcus Corley once again catches him and now tries to go to work against the ropes. All right. Well, that's stunning to me because I thought he went down to stop the assault. This but in the scoring down. of the fight, it won't be a knockdown. And Mayweather grinned over at us as if to say, what a fight. And now Corley's back on him and landing big shots. I never expected this. This is a fierce round. Give Corley credit. That right hand stunned Mayweather, and now give Mayweather credit for <laughs> pulling himself together to take control later, and there was another, a left hand shot. Obviously holding back. He hasn't thrown any combinations, he hasn't thrown any real hard punches. Was this a knockdown? The right yeah, glove definitely the, the touched right, the canvas. The right glove def definitely touched the canvas. Yeah, can it, it could have called, called it a knockdown, but I don't know if it would have been a two-point round. And I believe Judah won the round anyway, so it doesn't appear. Listen, that Zed Judah is wearing smaller gloves than Floyd Mayweather. They both weigh eight ounces. They're different gloves. Big left hand over the top by Judah. He believes he's got no other hurt. Crowd is going wild. He landed a straight left cross. Judo That's the land. punch that got the crowd excited. Yeah, go, Larry. Yeah, these are not hurting punches, but they are definitely big scoring punches. Again, Mosley 
comes in and he's unable to land anything. That's the defense of Floyd. Floyd rolls the shot. He gets caught with a good right hand. And now he hangs on. That's one of the best shots I've ever seen. Mayweather Hitler. Well, he made a statement like that right over the shoulder. Caught with a good shot. That's the best punch of the fight. You got to go over the shoulder. Look where Mayweather's left hand is. Not a good idea against Shane Mosley, who drills him there. I didn't say the way Mayweather's reacting that that punch hurt him. Yeah. came over the top like that then he gets hit and buckled there nearly floored if we see that later in the fight he might go down but oh, oh caught him Maidana with a shot at the belt think of the left hook and the overhand right here's a straight right now wow. and that's the difference right there it's Maidana to a one two he may want to много размашки мало мощи и, конечно, умение действовать. Знаете, честно говоря, я просто ошарас. Бум сам не ожидал. Апперкот справа. Nejdříve střední ruky vojním Joe Calzaghe is an amateur or pro. Gets nailed with a quintessential right hand from Byron Mitchell, and he can punch with that fight. He gets up, shows a lot of grit and determination. Needless to say, as indeed were Mayweather and Hatton, and we're just going to get down to business. It's all a little bit closer at this stage. Oh, good right hand! What a cracking straight shot from Hopkins! And Calzaghe for just perhaps the third time in his career finds himself on the count. Well, here it is again. Look at this. Hopkins look at that his left hand disappeared and hopkins came through with the classic straight right and the shoulder followed through with a little bit of a push on it at the end but spencer there's no doubting the validity of that punch now tremendous shot straight down the middle caught joe cole okay break Kazaki knows that jones is quicker in the center of the ring and down goes Kazaki. Just as he 
was down in the first round against Hopkins. He's down in the first round against Jones. And Jones makes his point that he uh, can hurt. Here we see Roy Jones land the jab in the eye, which really obstructed the vision of Kazagi. And then as Kazagi was going down, he got hit with a punch that Jones just shot in anticipation of the way his head was going to be. Perfect punch.